Tonight, a fugitive whose early release from prison was overturned by the state's highest court is back in custody. Authorities arrested Gerard Price in New York this morning after 77 days on the run. Blair Sable's been following this story for us. So Blair, how did they find him? Well, it actually came from a tip from someone here in South Carolina who alerted authorities about his location at an apartment in the Bronx. The Smalls family, whose son was Price's victim, tells me they are feeling very thankful for all of their efforts today. The Violent Crimes Task Force made the arrest around 11 this morning. That's made up of FBI and NYPD officers. Attorney General Alan Wilson reports that this was a non use of force event. We're also told that law enforcement believed that he had been in Charlotte, Atlanta and New York over these past two months. Wilson com commended the multi agency effort it took to track him down. For a period of time, no one knew where he was, and it was only after the tip from this state was phoned in. There was a hotline here that went to the task force, that went up to New York, and that allowed the FBI in conjunction and coordination with the NYPD to find out where he was. Well, Representative Todd Rutherford, Price's attorney, previously argued that Price's life would be in danger if returned to custody due to his client cooperating with the Department of Corrections when he alerted them about an escaped convict a few years ago. Rutherford called his client's capture today a political move, stating in part, while serving in prison, he helped the people of South Carolina, and his reward has been to have his life endangered by people seeking political gain. So what happens next? Well, we're told that Price will be sent to South Carolina very soon. And once in the state, he'll be taken to Kirkland up in Columbia for processing, and it'll be later determined where he'll serve the rest of his sentence, which still has another 16 years to go. Blair Sable, Live 5 News.